guess it's poetic justice. Lucky Spencer is the one who finally took down Manning since Matty injured him so badly. The sooner they do the autopsy, the sooner he'll be buried. And then I'll finally be done with that bastard. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold. What happened? This is when I got to the roof. Jason had Manny by the throat. They were both struggling. And then for about a half second, Manny opened up. You uh, shot him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The impact knocked Manny off the roof. What happened to Jason? I don't know. I had to stay with the crime scene. He must have gone down to check on the body. Yeah, this is Spencer. Is this Morgan? He collapsed outside the hospital. I think he's bleeding internally. Get him to war four. No, 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 Jason. Jason! No, you can't die now. Do you hear me? Jason! I Sam, went no, no, no. Let Patrick handle this. No, no I, I don't understand. Him. He wasn't that hurt. He wasn't that hurt when he was up here last. Holly nicked an artery. The, the fight with Manning didn't help the bleeding. It hadn't been for... Where was Jason when they found him? He was at the entrance where Manny fell. I was so afraid that Manny would kill anybody who got in his way. I'm so glad you're okay. What's going on with Jason? He's in surgery. They're repairing damage to an artery. He's lost a lot of blood. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means that the doctors are doing everything they can to save him. I didn't know you were a doctor. I want to see Jason. I want to be outside the OR so I can see him the second he comes out. Don't you think I would be there right now if they allowed it, Carly? Okay, well then let's make it happen. Okay. Dr. Drake. Jason suffered an arterial bleed in his chest cavity. He was hemorrhaging and literally suffocating on his own body. His heart stopped on the table. Honestly, I'm surprised Jason pulled through. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving me. <laughs> I'm good, but that guy's about as tough as they come. The bullet punctured his humeral artery. It's rare for someone to survive that much blood loss. He's got an incredibly strong heart. We gave him a transfusion and repaired the damage. What about nerve damage? If it looks good, we'll run some tests, but like I said, he should be fine. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Do you hear that, Sonny? He's gonna be... So where's the entourage? Jason Morgan's family and friends with the Algo home. I'll be back. It was close, wasn't it? More so than you let on? It was almost over before we started. When we resuscitated on the table, it was really close. I'd never seen so much bleeding out in my life. The artery tear was nasty. Honestly, if you hadn't have been there when Jason passed out, he'd be in the morgue right now. So what are you and Jason friends? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we even dated once. Uh, but that doesn't matter. It all worked out, and thank you, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have to think about Manny and the shootings and, and Jason. I can just concentrate on my real work. <laughs> well, I'm sure the medical staff will be grateful. <sighs> Message received. <laughs> Imagine that. After all the yelling and screaming and pulling out of hair, we finally get Jason into a room and there's no one here to sit with him. But he's not supposed to be out of recovery yet. Can't help it. Dr. Fabulous here worked his magic. Who's gonna take care of the man's personal effects? I will. Thanks, Epiphany. You're welcome. Wife, hey. Hey. Oh, it's just been a really long day. I'm suddenly very tired. Unlike my husband, who seems ready to take on the world, where are you getting all your energy yeah, from? It's just pure adrenaline. Tonight, this incredible weight was lifted. Now that Manny's dead and gone. Yeah, that and perhaps personal payback. Jason saved both of us on the pier the day that Manny kidnapped you, and I returned the favor. I saved Jason and Sam. I've come full circle. I, it's a clean slate for all of us. This doesn't make any sense. There's no reference to a bullet wound. That's because there wasn't one. Manny Ruiz was never shot. 
I should go home with Lucky. No, he had to go back to the PCPD to fill out paperwork. He just came by to check on me. Can't miss a chance to soak up some love and admiration, huh? Excuse me? No, it's just the cops are acting like Lucky single-handedly took out Ruiz. Well, he did shoot the guy. I mean, he deserves a little credit for that. But don't you think the official story's a little skewed? I mean, I don't, I don't know Jason, but he doesn't exactly come across warm and approachable. But first he gets arrested for making sure that his girlfriend gets a surgery that ultimately saves her life. Like his fault. And he <laughs> nearly kills himself taking out Ruiz and gets no credit for it. It's like he wasn't even there. Which makes sense because Alexis Davis is the DA and she'd pretty much do anything to make sure that he stays away from her daughter. But what I don't understand is why Lucky's playing along. Okay, I agree that Alexis will do anything to keep Jason out of Sam's life, but that has nothing to do with Lucky killing Ruiz. Less than a month ago, Lucky got credit for taking out a gun dealer. Except the bullet that I took out of the gun dealer's leg was from a 45. Lucky carries a 9mm. Do you know who does carry a 45? Jason Morgan. I know, because he pointed it at me. Please don't. And now Lucky gets credit for taking out Ruiz on the top of a building while he's fighting with Jason Morgan. It's a pretty impressive shot. Unless, of course, Lucky's not the one that took out Ruiz. Maybe we're giving credit to the wrong hero. Possible that the bullet wound was masked by the injuries from the fall? No. We could tell he'd been in a nasty fight. From the marks on his throat, consistent with an attempt to choke him. But the cause of death was massive internal injuries from the fall. Is there any possibility that the impact of the bullet is what caused Manny to fall? Sorry, Miss Davis. Whoever shoved Ruiz off that roof is the one who killed him. Can I have your attention? Can I have your attention? Tonight, Manuel Ruiz was shot and killed by an officer in the Port Charles Police Department during the commission of a heinous crime. Ruiz was a member of a well-known crime family and had a reputation as a cold-blooded killer. Tonight, he was being sought for the kidnapping of Samantha McCall. The officer responsible for the shooting secured Ms. McCall's release, and she is now safe. Manny Ruiz was in violation of probation and, since his escape, was wanted on a number of other violations. He has also been personally responsible for a 10-month reign of terror in the city of Port Charles. Details of tonight's events will be supplied to all of you as soon as we're finished with the witnesses and we complete our reports. However, I would like to add that the officer responsible for bringing this monster to justice is in the eyes of this department and this city a bona fide hero. And I believe Officer Lucas Lorenzo Spencer Jr. would like to make a brief statement. Lucky? Thank you, Commissioner. I have no comments on this evening's events, but I would like to thank someone, someone who's made it possible for me to be here tonight. She's the bravest person that I know, and in recent months has given me more than I can say without asking for anything in return. My wife, Elizabeth Spencer, is a nurse at General Hospital, who was also once a victim to Manny Ruiz and survived to be the most loving, supportive wife any man could ever ask for. You must be very proud. Your husband is quite the hero. A hero. At this autopsy filed sealed, no one gets the details of this case. But the official What difference does it make? Wrong. He's dead. I don't want the information getting out. I don't want the public to know. As far as the public is concerned, Lucky Spencer killed Manny Ruiz, not Jason Morgan. That's him, Manuel Ruiz. Te prometo, Vengaza mi mano. Te prometo venganza mi mano.